everybody. This isn't about me. It's about a tutorial. So let's go ahead and just do it. I can't even tell you what it's for, but I can tell you it works. Women, do not, by all means, clip this on to an underwire bra, okay? Do not, all right? By experience, trial and error, I did that. And it does make your skin grow, all right? If you snap it onto something like a wire bra, don't be stupid. Don't do it, okay? I am not giving you any kind of professional or medical advisement here. I am, I am, this is just something that somebody taught me and I'm passing it along, okay? So go ahead and pay attention here. Um, all right, here we go. All right. I can't turn the camera around without it shutting down. So just let me show you some of the tools that we're going to need here to make this item, all right? You are going to need, you are going to need copper wire, metal of some kind, see? metal of some kind this or a little piece that maybe you kind of rig up that looks like this uh, you're going to need some uh, black tape you're going to need some uh, uh, some copper wire that has been protected by its encasement all right you're going to have to have two exposing ends and certainly you're going to need two of these babies right here okay and um, definitely you're going to need magnets okay and what i want you to do is i'm i'll show you you'll, you'll need a couple of magnets you can use larger ones you can use smaller ones um, and of course you're going to need this right here which is uh, probably the uh, a small gauge of uh, this stuff right here all right and uh, as I said, this, probably a pair of scissors to um, cut this. And you'll need some tweezers, short or long. You might need a, a sharp knife just to poke in uh, this copper right here to, to wrap around that screw in there. You see that? Okay. So let's see what else. I mean, this is even a piece of metal that you could use. The end result will be, let me show you what the end result will be. Let me put this down now. Okay. All right. So what your end result will be, um, let's use this for an example. Okay. So I've got all of this taken care of. I've got both of the ends and that uh, copper uh, part. Damn, let's see. See that? See that? There's a little screw uh, there. All right, you want to get that copper after you've exposed it on both ends of this wire, wrapped around that screw somehow, and then you want to get your electrical tape and you want to wrap it so it looks like this. Then you take, then you take one end of this clip and you stick it down there where those two opposing magnets are. When I say opposing magnets, I mean, I mean opposing, opposing magnets where they don't want to stick together, but you must make them stick together like this, okay? even though they don't want to, they want to flip over, see? <laughs> it's got to be where they're opposing each other and then you meticulously, <laughs> you meticulously wrap it in this copper. Now, I'll see how long it's gonna allow me to do that. So, okay, so we have the two opposing magnets here. I've taken some of this right here and I've wrapped it like a present. I've wrapped it like a present. And then I have taken, now you can use a, any kind of metal, any kind of metal. You can bend this so it doesn't rip your skin open, all right? Uh, or even an, a piece of this metal uh, that you used here, all right? Fold it so it doesn't rip your skin open. And you wanna take this Dang it. 
Okay, so let me just show you as an example. All right, so you wanna take this part right here, you wanna put it in your pants pocket. You see this flat piece, this flat piece of metal right here? You wanna take that and you wanna you wanna stick it in your skin. Just put it right down there and let it touch your skin, all right? And with any extra, just, you know, sort of stuck it to, you know, put it there. And what I don't want you to do, what I don't want you to do, okay, so there you go. You are officially G-R-O-U-N-D-E-D, -D, okay? And uh, this is... Uh, so here we go, right here. Do not, this is like jumper cables, okay? What do they tell you when you use, first thing they tell you when you, you use jumper cables and you put the negative, you put the, the positive on the uh, spark plug, they tell you do not let these two touch. That's why this one goes in your pocket with the opposing magnets wrapped with copper and then wrapped with copper wire around this like a present and this piece right here touching your flesh okay don't don't touch these two otherwise it that's why you don't want to take this and clip it to your underwire bra because um <laughs> you're not going to you're not going to like the end result so just Tuck it in your pants pocket and put this on your flesh, okay? You can clip it on inside somewhere, but make sure it gets, yeah. Anyway, um, how to do. I don't know if this tape is going to shut off on me or not, but what I have done here is I have uh, wrapped this wire, put this wire down around that screw inside of there, and then we're going to take some of this black electrical tape. And um, I'm not a professional. If I, if I turn off the camera, you guys, you know what's going to happen? It's off. <laughs> and then I have to start all over again. Okay, let's just get it down in there. And uh, you want to take that and wrap it tightly in there <clears throat> yeah at this point in time you can just cut some off wrap it tightly just like one two three all right and i've already exposed this wire here and how you do it um most everybody knows how to do this you just what you do is you just cut around, you just cut around the wire like this. Gee, this one might be better, huh? You just cut around the wire like this on uh, your copper wire in encasement. Cut all the way around it like this, all right? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Cut all the way around it gently. Just squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then you peel off, and then you'll have the exposed wire. That's what you need for these clips. All right? So both sides need to be done like that. Okay, now moving along. Let's pretend they're both, both sides are now wrapped. And uh, let's use a couple of these. But, we'll, but these... Only we're going to use these instead, you know. I think that bit larger is better, but, you know, whatever you can work with. Now, you got to have them opposing, which is uh, uh, not the easiest thing to do. You lay it down here, lay it down on your piece of copper, and then you meticulously try to wrap. And I tell you, I, I, I'm going to wrap the side up no we're not going to wrap the side up yet we're going to we're going to wrap <clears throat> damn and this is not easy friends okay all right get it in there snug and probably 
doing this on a piece of carpet is not really the best thing to do. But, okay, we're going to see how far I've come. I have almost got it wrapped. See that? But they're opposing, so they're fighting. They're fighting and not wanting to do this. Okay, so do it again. Do it again. And do it again. Okay, now you can see that I have those two lovely opposing magnets wrapped up in this, this copper. Now, on each end, probably would have been better for me to measure this out but since we didn't do that <clears throat> first we're going to just kind of uh snip and cut okay snip and cut and uh you know mm. and then again you might have to unwrap it slightly to do that Sometimes it will tear. Just get some of it off, for goodness sakes. Okay. All right, now, bend. Bend down your, your sharpest corners first. Okay. Okay. And uh, they're going to want to try to creep out on you, everything else, but don't let it. All right, so this is why we have these right here. I'm doing a, a, a sloppy job because I just basically want you to see how, how this is done. And, uh, and if you can, just get those corners that are... <clears throat> those corners that are kind of like rigid. And I, I take this out on, on concrete and I'd probably pound it down like that really hard, pound it down. <clears throat> now, here's the clinch. Remember what I told you, your clip needs to fit in there somewhere and it needs to be able to touch those two opposing magnets. All right. So what I would do, here, let me get, I wouldn't use your hair cutting scissors on this project. <laughs> I get some other pair. Okay. All right. So let's decide where there's like a little opening here. Let's get uh, la 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 la. Okay. Here, let's stick that down there because we'll just pretend that that's going to be where your clip fits down. Okay. So let's here. Okay. All right, so bend. Mm -mm, not yet. Anyway, you guys, I don't want to make this too long. And I just <clears throat> basically, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to screw around with your time as this is the thing. Okay. I really don't want to screw around with your time. Okay, where did I, you know, and I can't really, I'd like to get the flat side, <clears throat> the flat side of uh, one of the magnets in there, not where they're not meeting. I'd like to get the flat side of it. So you can see by looking in there, see that? So when I say flat side, I mean like right in here. We want, we want an area of this magnet as an end result left open, 
Okay, so the clip will touch the magnet and slip down there. That's what we're shooting for. All right, so cut it accordingly. Okay, we know where we're going to have it. So cut some more off. Cut some more off. That's right. And the more off would be exactly where you're going to stick that that uh, that magnet down. <clears throat> okay, kind of like that. Okay, so here you go. So what I've done is I've made like a little. A little, uh, and don't use your hands. <laughs> this is sharp. Okay, use use your your pinchers to uh, to get that squared up. Okay, make sure that that uh, little area down there where you're gonna stick that magnet. See that? See how I did that? I cut right there because we want that clip to touch that magnet now now we can fold now we can kind of fold those edges in leaving that gap somewhat open and I might have to do here let me just spend <clears throat> hey yeah I'm just trying to help out here right <clears throat> Okay, here. Then take your, see, I'm bending it down. Squish it. Squish it down. Get creative. Make it a necklace, I don't know. Here. Mm. All right, so, okay. Yeah, so. Uh-huh. Bend it over and around. Okay, gosh darn it, man. Anyway. So, all right. Now, what you want to do is you want to take some of this copper, copper wire. All right. Just take some. And I just want you to to wrap that around a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Okay, and then maybe stick it under here. I'm gonna make a, a little present out of it, right? Okay. And you know, if you're watching this, I'd take a, a couple of screenshots as to what I needed. Ouch, damn it. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, that hurt. Okay. Okay, so wrap this around. Let's get it so it stays on there. All right. Maybe stick that under there again. Oh, yeah. Listen, in any case, it, it this is a, a little, okay, and then get that, you're not seeing what I'm doing, okay, so I'm wrapping it like a gift, all right, just that little extra wire around there is like a little extra charge, baby, okay, so that's what you want, all right, so here it is, in there. All right, and uh, then take your 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 tweezers, your needle nose pliers, and twist that around, and uh, get any sharp areas uh, pretty much down and under. Okay, just just clip that off, and right there, clip it off, pound it down, pound it down. So you gotta kind of look like this, okay? I mean, you can do a better job, all right? You're gonna have more time to do this than I am. 
All right, and so now we've got our, our clips done, all right, because we've taken the clips and we've already explained what we've done here, all right, we've stuck it in here. There's a screw inside of there, all right, and you're going to try to bend it up. What I do is I, uh, to, to get it up there, I take this this wire that's exposed now, and I just take my needle nose pliers, and I and I just sort of I just sort of go like this, man. I just I just bend it, I just bend it and and make a loop. See that? Make a make a loop, and then then you want to just take it and you you want to stick it in your in your large clips, all right? And it all it should all go in there, relatively easy. Um, and uh, by bending it, you've already, you've already got the wires pretty much around that, uh, around that screw. All right. Around that screw. All right. And you just get it down there flat. You might need to go ahead and, and take your knife or something and smash it down and use your electrical tape. And then you're then you're pretty well all done. Okay, and then you just take you just take this where you've left room, making sure that it has it is touching the magnet in there. And I can guarantee you that is touching the magnet. You put this in your pocket. Well, you can have smaller ones, but you know, bigger is better, right? And you put this you put this in your pocket. You put this or this where you you can even use this as a, your metal. Okay, just I would suggest that you 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 bend the ends in. All right, bend the ends in so you don't hurt yourself. Damn it, ladies, do not touch this damn thing with your wire broad. I mean, don't be stupid now, man. You're not. You're not. You're smart because you're watching this right now. So, you know, even do this. You don't have to use this. You can. You don't have to use a piece of copper. You can use a piece of metal. Just get that in there and lay it against your skin like so, okay? You're going to touch your skin, all right? And you are... You are now G-R-O-U-N-D-E-D. -E okay? So, cool. Right on. Hope you enjoyed it. And God bless. Keep the faith.